And so we are underway here with Wilson with the ball in hand, kicking around inwards to Wilson underneath, and she turns the hoop, and straight away, Will, they're on the board. Werung put her defender on the floor, putting it into the paint now, back out to Wilson, looking inwards, finds an option in McKay, and she finishes for two points, and so Bendigo with the first two scores of the game. Taylor in, drills the three, quickly down the floor, we're going to see another one this time from Wilson, and finally... There's the response. The response is made, as you mentioned, and it's Wilson, the experienced veteran. Defended well by Wynn, and the pick's there, so it's double team with Campbell. Wilson has a bit of room, but instead looks inside. A smart play equals two points for Bendigo through the hands of McKay. Came up with, a, well, Maley came up with the offensive rebound after a missed free throw right at the end of that second quarter. It's Wilson nice move. behind the back, and a veteran move from an absolutely skillful player. In Kelly Wilson, just set the pick on the right-hand side, then looks for an option, finds one eventually in Kelly Wilson, who is 100% from the field for her 16 points, and it continues for Bendigo. Kicks it around to Wilson. Of course, as we mentioned, shoots 100% from the field on the night, and what a beautiful pass to Mackay, who was standing waiting, and a defensive breakdown from Eltham leads to an easy two. And so she takes herself to 21 points. Wilson kicks it across, and the three goes up for the Braves. And it is Sexton again from three. It's her second of the night. Takes so much to become an NBL1 referee. That was definitely missed by me. <laughs> definitely missed by me. Three-point basket in the corner from Majin is good. I'll tell you, as someone who's been blocked from behind many times, it's uh, not a good feeling. Demoralizing feeling, yeah. you're right. Kelly Wilson comes up with it again and another easy score for Wilson. Timeout taken here by Altham.